How's it going? Good. 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 Is there a little burn under your saddle with these guys coming in? I mean, they got you twice last year. They chirped a lot about, you know, they may be the division champs, but they didn't beat us. Right, right. Um, you know, that's a tough one. And, and not in the sense of it's a tough question or, or, or whatever. It's, it's, it's the fact that you, you're trying to, or well, it's not you, but looking, trying to take it back in the last year. Um, you know, our mindset is this year, you know, what are we going to do? How are we going to come out and prepare? Um, so it's more so what are they going to do this year? You know, they say they was champs. Now you got your chance to prove it. My list says it's sort of a little bit of a redemption tour with you guys lost to New England, lost to Tennessee, lost to the Jets last year, three straight games in a row. Where uh -huh. you sort of put that really behind you. Right. I mean, uh, uh, again, we, we don't want to, you know, start digging into last year's bad to try and find tools and stuff because this is a different team. A lot of the, a, a lot of guys didn't go through <clears throat> get, didn't go through those emotional runs. Um, so, so again, prove it to us now. You know, we're a different team. We got a different mindset. Uh, we ready to come out and play, make it the kind of game we want it to be. Let's come out and play. Let's play. As a defensive player, when Leonard's in there for the offensive practice, is, it, is, is, it, is there anything different about it? Well, we don't go against the offensive practice. You know, we get our scout team looks and get scout team looks. So uh, we, we don't we don't go against offense to, the, to see it, and that's what you're asking. You talk about digging in the tools. What are, what are the tools for this year then? Yeah. For you guys, week to week. Uh, 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 again, understanding where we are as a team, focusing on that team, giving that team that week that res the respect they deserve, and to prepare, preparation, love, and dedication, I'm, I'm telling you, and hard work is, is driving this team and is going to keep driving this team and pushing this team into the direction uh, until we get the ultimate goal. Is it like nothing you've ever experienced? See, that's tough because I've been on great teams. Um, every level I've been on, I've been, I've been blessed, even in boys' club. Yeah, my, my boys' club team was a great team. Yeah, so <laughs> shout out to the boys' club. So, and it's crazy. My first boys' club team was the Domino's piece of Jaguars. Um, and, 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 and it winded up, I finished, so whatever. But, um, you know, I, I've been blessed to be on great teams. Um, but this is, this is the feeling that I've gotten on those teams, I will say this. And 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 and, and it's, it's certain stuff that you cannot, you you cannot um, put together. You cannot, you you it, it just comes together in the team forms, and that's what this team has done. And we 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 done time mistakes and everything else that got this team right, and we where we need to be. So you really can't quantify it. <coughs> there is something that you feel the addition of Calais, Barry. Exactly. Guys like that that bring a little bit, just a slight different mindset that helps change what your own expectations are of yourself and the rest of the team. I'm, I'm going to tell you, you learn something about yourself every time you step out there on the field. Uh, and, and that just goes in the show because when you step out on it with somebody else and somebody different, it just goes to what you were saying. It just shows you a different side of you. It brings out a different side of you, uh, especially like you were talking about adding on guys like Calais and Malik. Slowly but surely, they're drafting guys, bringing Jalen in, bringing Fournette in, <clears throat> bringing Cam Robinson in. Uh, you know, prayers to him um, and, and blessings that he come back strong. But when you bring all these guys in, and now they have the same mindset, a winning mindset. You don't have a uh, um, uh, um, because I, I think from the from the time I got here, it's only Tink and Abe that's here. So now you've literally cut off the head of a whole culture that was here before we all started. And now we don't have that anymore. And you have uh, our class who wanted to change it and Abe them who wanted to change it. And now you bring in guys who wanted to change it and who have changed it. And this is what you get. You know what I mean? It, it all comes together and it's worked out. Is that your face, Gabbard, or Mariota on Sunday? Put them on the field. You know what I mean? Uh, we, got, we got something to we, – uh, <laughs> I, I keep not wanting to dig back in the old bag, but hey, and, and it's and it's tough because I went out that game last year against Arizona and Gabba lit up the field, so you know, I ain't forgot. <laughs> and you probably haven't forgotten the two Tennessee games either. <laughs> oh, Just, you're talking about the culture that was here before. Mm -hmm. is, is your first two years? Does that seem like so long ago? It does. It does. <laughs> I, and I'm gonna tell you my first three because um, I'm tell you. Uh, it was tough. Um, um, it was tough. You know, you 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 go out and, and you playing hard, and, and and you know everybody is is dedicated and, and 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 going hard for what you believe in, and you're not getting results. And, and, but you're literally going out on the field, going hard. 
I've, I've never been around something so crazy um, in that sense. And that was frustrating at the beginning, but, you know, uh, attest to the hard work, man, that people put in around here, because we definitely want to turn it around. So does that make you appreciate what you've done since the beginning of last year, even more because of all that hard It does, right? and, and that's why I don't think, um, that's why I, I don't I don't necessarily worry about this team um, because it understands where we are and who we are and, and where we came from. Even though some of these people wasn't on this team um, and, and a part of those, you know, blowout seasons, they understand when we talk about it and they can feel the passion and, and anger and frustration when we talk about those times. So it's like, it's like okay, a respect in a sense. And, and, and two, yeah, every, like I said, everybody want to win. Everybody want to win. Teams, I mean, most of your life. Right. But the, the teams that weren't so great when you first got Well, here, I had to build them up, but, but yeah. they, they, they became great. They became great. Can you, can you put into words what, it, what it's like when you're in high school, Pop Warner, college, uh -huh. now professionally to know you don't have to do anything exceptional. You got it's a it's a team game. You got ten other guys, and you right. know if everybody does their job, you guys are going to win games. Right. Um, in in every situation that I've learned, and and you you one you got to have guys who love and respect the game, but two can play the game. Um, I think that's where that's where it all starts. The people who who are at the front the, the at the front of it, the helm of it is the the, the coaches. Um, because cause we follow their, their, even though we don't want to at times or whatever, we follow their lead. And then from the coaches and the captains of ours, we take our own persona. So um, first you got to have those players. And that's what I've learned um, on, on every level is, is players come. And then uh, as, as they get together and they form who they are, um, certain players rise to the top as leaders, as dominant ones. Um, and everybody kind of dictates their role. And, and then it kind of filters down from there. And, and that is... And it's crazy, um, but I've been able to be in a position of uh, leadership and on those. On those. Why do you? Uh, oh, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you think the fans seem to relate to Blake so well? Why do the fans relate to Blake? Hard times. Hard times. I think. I think. Um, an organization that has been through so much. You know what I mean? You you done seen the hard times, whatever, and you see a guy who got potential. This organization has had potential for years um, and just hasn't panned out. And I think that's what people might see in Blake. But at the same time, you see he make these these games the way he do he does and he he, he, he leads and he continues to battle. And I think they just kinda they he has taken on this Jacksonville persona, the Jacksonville, and I think that in itself the fans respect it because he go out and battle. Yeah, I mean, every he done been criticizing every which way for him, and he still shows up, talks to you all, talks to fans, talks to everybody with respect and plays and go out and play. So I, th I think just because his mindset, the way he has approached it, and he's taken on, taking on the, the Duval mentality. What does uh, Ryan Harrison bring in that big middle spot? Sort of different position you guys have out here? I'm telling you. You know, I, I talk about players and keep bringing players around, and that was a big piece of the uh, a, a puzzle that, that we brought around. Um, for a young guy to just love the game, to understand the game, he's smart. You know what I mean? You see he's out there right away with us. He understands. He plays. He, he knows how to communicate. He's not shelled like a lot of rookies come in and be um, trying. They're, they're shelled and just not themselves. He's him, you know, and, 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 and he can play. And he can play, so he can play with us. I don't, it's a lot of people out there that come play with us um, right off the bat, but he can. And, and he's he's definitely uh, added depth and another form of playmaking to our defense. Following up on that, uh, one of the few questions about this defense was how would you guys replace Colvin uh -huh. in the year? How is Hayden? I mean, talk about a guy who's really fit in. Right. Played his butt off. Right. And, and that's the thing, you know, we love AC. Um, you know that that that's 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 one of our guys. You know what I mean. So I'm not gonna say he replaced him, um, cause cause we got so much respect for AC. Um, I, I would just say he came in and he has been him. You know he he's he's been him and fit in this defense, and we respect and love that man. Cause a lot of guys are trying to come and be standoffish or be you know so whatever. But he came in, put his head down, went to work, tried to see what he can do, um, how he can relate to us, and he's done that. And now you just see the play starting to come on the field. Um, I think they said the, the announcement, he had made a play, and the, the announcer kind of messed up his name or something. 
you know, so then he came back and made the sack. So that's what we saying now. They know your name. They're going to get it right. So y'all make sure y'all know that's DJ Hayden. And I'm telling you, man, he's a baller. He's a baller.